Hey, you're watching Velo News TV. I'm Neil Rogers outside the Columbia team bus for another video diary with George Shinkapi. We're here before the start of stage 14. Another stage win for Mark Cavendish. I, you know, each day it's, it's almost like a broken record, but what an incredible ride again. Talk a little bit about uh, the feeling within the team going into the stage and uh, immediately after the win. Yeah, no, I mean, everybody's super uh, excited. Uh, not only with the four stage win, but it seems like this one he won by even more. I mean, and it was a headwind sprint, and nobody could even stay on his wheel. So he's he's really uh, having an amazing tour, and I think uh, one of the biggest sprinters of our time. Uh, he's got an, uh, an unbelievable future ahead of him, and, and uh, what he's doing now is just incredible. Now, you know, we've seen you riding in support of uh, Kim Carrigan in the first week, Mark Cavendish in the second week. There's a lot of people reading and watching back home that are wondering when we're going to get to see you have a chance to ride for yourself, get into a breakaway, and maybe try to get a stage win. Yeah, no, that would be great. Um, the problem is that right now nobody's going to let us go away because they know if, if we're in a breakaway that, uh, you know, we won't control. So, I mean, obviously, you know, there's still chances to get away in breakaways, and we're going to look to get away in big breakaways, and I would love to win another stage. It would be a, it's a huge goal of mine. Um, but we just got to take it day by day. We we're happy with what the team's done so far, and uh, we hope to continue with uh, having successes. There seems to be you know, a little bit of uh, conservative riding at the, until this point with the GC guys, uh, like on the Hadakam, for example. Uh, is, there, is, is it all going to come down to the Alpe d'Huez stage, do you think, uh, the Alpe d'Huez stage, and then the final time trial, or do you think we're going to see changes in GC before then? Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, uh, I, would, I would guess that CSC's got to start attacking right away tomorrow uh, because they got the numbers and they can probably do some damage. Uh, also, Menchov probably wants to get some time. Um, so I would, I would, I would expect that the next three mountain days will be uh, pretty aggressive. And what, what will uh, Colombia's priority be? I mean, just to keep Kerrigan out of trouble, or could we see him on the attack as well? Yeah, I mean, if he's having a good day, I definitely see him on the attack, and hopefully move up some spots. And if he got a podium, it'd be, uh, it'd be awesome. Yeah. Also, you know, we got Christian up there in the podium too. He's, he's, he's a good friend of mine. I'd love to see him stay there as well. So it's. Uh, it's going to be exciting last week of the Tour de France for sure. Do you think that uh, Silence, Lotto, because everyone's talking about how they don't have the strongest team, are they going to have to start making some alliances with some other teams? I don't, I don't think so. Just because in the Tour, I mean, there's so many different, uh, every team's got different goals. I mean, even with us sometimes, with uh, back in the Lance days, you know, if we didn't have the, uh, the guys up there with Lance, it was other teams that wanted to protect their top five placing or their team GC and that always be alliances made just because of other teams' interests. So uh, I don't expect that happening, but it's also a possibility. Well, George, we've got a lot of people watching. They're really enjoying the videos or writing in. If you have a question for George, it's uh, Velonews TV at competitorgroup.com. I'm not able to pull the questions off my phone this morning, so I'll hit you with a few of them tomorrow. Okay. And uh, thanks again for all the time. Yep, no problem. Thank you.